and stone walls of the Serra da Capivara, in Brazil's hot and dry northeastern countryside, there are signs of an ancient human presence that challenges established theories on how mankind reached the Americas. These drawings depicting prehistoric times, the region's fauna, and scenes of daily life among its ancient inhabitants, like this one, usually described as the kiss. The artifacts found here are among the oldest in the Americas. This stone tool, dated to be 30,000 years old, kept in the Parks Museum, is an example. Research began here in the late 1970s, when archaeologist Niet Guidon, now 86 years old and still working in the region, first heard from locals about the paintings. Her discoveries supported the theory then much discredited that mankind arrived in South America before reaching North America and thousands of years earlier than previously thought. The excavations here have shown that mankind arrived here about 30,000 years ago, and they stayed because at the time this was a very favorable region with plenty of water. But when we published the first results of our research with the dates of the artifacts from the whole stone site, some American scientists said it was impossible because man had the Americas 17,000 years ago Bering Strait. Every year, a French government-sponsored team comes to Serra da Capivara for a few months to continue digging. The sites are now covered again for protection, as this year's excavations have been completed. Archaeologists logging the artifacts collected say their latest finds date back even further. All dust for the moment, it's around uh, 70, 65,000 years old. So uh, we have all the sequence, 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50, 60, uh, 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 now 69,000 years old. And it's not only scientists come. About 20,000 tourists come to the park each year to see the landscapes, paintings and the two museums set up here, supporting much-needed businesses and jobs in the region. The archaeological discoveries in the Serra da Capivara and the creation of a national park gave a much-needed boost in the economy of this impoverished region. And it's not only about the tourists that have been coming. Another good example is the Spotry that ships countrywide their products decorated with handmade reproductions of the paintings found on the rocks here. We still sell a lot to the tourists that come to visit us, but nowadays, more than half of our products are shipped to other states, to retailers that sell our products. And this generates wages for our community. About 70 people work here in our guest house. Our work also helps people get to know our park. That's important for our region. Researchers say the Serra da Capivara holds many more secrets to the past worth their efforts to unlock. While an increasing public interest in this site can only help create a better future for the people who live in the region. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Serra da Capivara, Brazil.